1 Kings, Chapter 15 In the eighteenth year of King Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, Abijah became king over Judah. He reigned three years in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Maacah, the granddaughter of Abishalom. And he walked in all the sins of his father, which he had done before him. His heart was not loyal to the Lord his God, as was the heart of his father David. Nevertheless, for David's sake, the Lord his God gave him a lamp in Jerusalem by setting up his son after him and by establishing Jerusalem. Because David did what was right in the eyes of the Lord and had not turned aside from anything that he commanded him all the days of his life, except in the matter of Uriah the Hittite. And there was war between Rehoboam and Jeroboam all the days of his life. Now the rest of the acts of Abijam and all that he did, are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Judah? And there was war between Abijam and Jeroboam. So Abijam rested with his fathers, and they buried him in the city of David. Then Asa his son reigned in his place. In the twentieth year of Jeroboam king of Israel, Asa became king over Judah, and he reigned forty-one years in Jerusalem. His grandmother's name was Maacah, the granddaughter of Abishalom. Asa did what was right in the eyes of the Lord, as did his father David. And he banished the perverted persons from the land and removed all the idols that his fathers had made. Also he removed Maacah, his grandmother, from being queen mother, because she had made an obscene image of Asherah. And Asa cut down her obscene image and burned it by the brook Kidron. But the high places were not removed. Nevertheless, Asa's heart was loyal to the Lord all his days. He also brought into the house of the Lord the things which his father had dedicated, and the things which he himself had dedicated, silver and gold and utensils. Now there was war between Asa and Baasha, king of Israel, all their days. And Baasha, king of Israel, came up against Judah and built Ramah that he might let none go out or come in to Asa king of Judah. Then Asa took all the silver and gold that was left in the treasuries of the house of the Lord and the treasuries of the king's house and delivered them into the hand of his servants. And king Asa sent them to Ben-Hadad, the son of Tabrimon, the son of Hezian, king of Syria, who dwelt in Damascus, saying, let there be a treaty between you and me, as there was between my father and your father. See, I have sent you a present of silver and gold. Come and break your treaty with Baasha, king of Israel, so that he will withdraw from me. So Ben-Hadad heeded king Asa, and sent the captains of his armies against the cities of Israel. He attacked Ijah, Dan. Abel Beth Maacah, and all Kinnereth, with all the land of Naphtali. Now it happened, when Baasha heard it, that he stopped building Ramah, and remained in Tirzah. Then King Asa made a proclamation throughout all Judah. None was exempted. And they took away the stones and timber of Ramah, which Baasha had used for building. And with them King Asa built Geba, of Benjamin and Mizpah. The rest of all the acts of Asa, all his might, all that he did, and the cities which he built, are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Judah? But in the time of his old age he was diseased in his feet. So Asa rested with his fathers, and was buried with his fathers in the city of David his father. Then. Jehoshaphat, his son, reigned in his place. Now Nadab, the son of Jeroboam, 
became king over Israel in the second year of Asa, king of Judah. And he reigned over Israel two years. And he did evil in the sight of the Lord, and walked in the way of his father, and in his sin, by which he had made Israel sin. Then Baasha, the son of Ahijah, of the house of Issachar, conspired against him. And Baasha killed him at Gibbethon, which belonged to the Philistines, while Nadab and all Israel laid siege to Gibbethon. Baasha killed him in the third year of Asa, king of Judah, and reigned in his place. And it was so, when he became king, that he killed all the house of Jeroboam. He did not leave to Jeroboam anyone that breathed, until he had destroyed him, according to the word of the Lord, which he had spoken by his servant Ahijah the Shilonite, because of the sins of Jeroboam, which he had sinned, and by which he had made Israel sin, because of his provocation with which he had provoked the Lord God of Israel to anger. Now the rest of the acts of Nadab, and all that he did, are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel? And there was war between Asa and Baasha, king of Israel, all their days. In the third year of Asa, king of Judah, Baasha, the son of Ahijah, became king over all Israel in Tirzah, and reigned twenty-four years. He did evil in the sight of the Lord, and walked in the way of Jeroboam, and in his sin, by which he had made Israel sin. Second Chronicles chapter 13 In the eighteenth year of King Jeroboam, Abijah became king over Judah. He reigned three years in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Micaiah, the daughter of Uriel, of Gibeah, and there was war between Abijah and Jeroboam. Abijah set the battle in order with an army of valiant warriors, 400,000 choice men. Jeroboam also drew up in battle formation against him with 800,000 choice men, mighty men of valor. Then Abijah stood on Mount Zemaraim, which is in the mountains of Ephraim, and said, Hear me, Jeroboam, and all Israel. Should you not know that the Lord God of Israel gave the dominion over Israel to David forever, to him and his sons, by a covenant of salt? Yet Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, the servant of Solomon, the son of David, rose up and rebelled against his Lord. Then worthless rogues gathered to him and strengthened themselves against Rehoboam, the son of Solomon, when Rehoboam was young and inexperienced and could not withstand them. And now you think to withstand the kingdom of the Lord, which is in the hand of the sons of David, and you are a great multitude, and with you are the gold calves which Jeroboam made for you as gods. Have you not cast out the priests of the Lord, the sons of Aaron and the Levites, and made for yourselves priests like the peoples of other lands, so that whoever comes to consecrate himself with a young bull and seven rams may be a priest of things that are not gods? But as for us, the Lord is our God, and we have not forsaken him. And the priests who minister to the Lord are the sons of Aaron. And the Levites attend to their duties. And they burn to the Lord every morning and every evening, burnt sacrifices and sweet incense. They also set the showbread in order on the pure gold table and a lampstead of gold with its lamps to burn every evening. For we keep the command of the Lord our God, but you have forsaken him. Now look, God himself is with us as our head. 
and his priests with sounding trumpets to sound the alarm against you. Oh, children of Israel, do not fight against the Lord God of your fathers, for you shall not prosper. But Jeroboam caused an ambush to go around behind them. So they were in front of Judah, and the ambush was behind them. And when Judah looked around, to their surprise, the battle line was at both front and rear, and they cried out to the Lord, and the priests sounded the trumpets. Then the men of Judah gave a shout, and as the men of Judah shouted, it happened that God struck Jeroboam and all Israel before Abijah and Judah. And the children of Israel fled before Judah, and God delivered them into their hand. Then Abijah and his people struck them with a great slaughter. So 500,000 choice men of Israel fell slain. Thus the children of Israel were subdued at that time, and the children of Judah prevailed, because they relied on the Lord God of their fathers. And Abijah pursued Jeroboam and took cities from him, Bethel with its villages, Jeshonah with its villages, and Ephraim with its villages. So Jeroboam did not recover strength again in the days of Abijah, and the Lord struck him, and he died. But Abijah grew mighty, married fourteen wives, and begot twenty-two sons and sixteen daughters. Now the rest of the acts of Abijah, his ways and his sayings, are written in the annals of the prophet Iddo. Second Chronicles Chapter 14 So Abijah rested with his fathers, and they buried him in the city of David. Then Asa his son reigned in his place. In his days the land was quiet for ten years. Asa did what was good and right in the eyes of the Lord his God, for he removed the altars of the foreign gods and the high places, and broke down the sacred pillars, and cut down the wooden images. He commanded Judah to seek the Lord God of their fathers, and to observe the law and the commandment. He also removed the high places and the incense altars from all the cities of Judah, and the kingdom was quiet under him. And he built fortified cities in Judah, for the land had rest. He had no war in those years, because the Lord had given him rest. Therefore he said to Judah, Let us build these cities, and make walls around them, and towers, gates, and bars, while the land is yet before us, because we have sought the Lord our God. We have sought Him, and He has given us rest on every side. So they built and prospered. And Asa had an army of 300,000 from Judah who carried shields and spears, and from Benjamin, 280,000 men who carried shields and drew bows. All these were mighty men of valor. Then Zira the Ethiopian came out against them with an army of a million men and 300 chariots. And he came to Marisha. So Asa went out against him, and they set the troops in battle array in the valley of Zephathah at Marisha. And Asa cried out to the Lord his God, Lord, it is nothing for you to help, whether with many or with those who have no power. Help us, O Lord our God, for we rest on you, and in your name we go against this multitude. O Lord, you are our God. Do not let man prevail against you. So the Lord struck the Ethiopians before Asa and Judah, and the Ethiopians fled. And Asa and the people who were with him 
pursued them to Girar. So the Ethiopians were overthrown, and they could not recover, for they were broken before the Lord and his army, and they carried away very much spoil. Then they defeated all the cities around Girar, for the fear of the Lord came upon them, and they plundered all the cities, for there was exceedingly much spoil in them. They also attacked the livestock enclosures and carried off sheep and camels in abundance and returned to Jerusalem. Second Chronicles, Chapter 15 Now the Spirit of God came upon Azariah, the son of Oded, and he went out to meet Asa. Hear me, Asa, and all Judah and Benjamin. The Lord is with you while you are with him. If you seek him, he will be found by you. But if you forsake him, he will forsake you. For a long time, Israel has been without the true God, without a teaching priest, and without law. But when in their trouble they turned to the Lord God of Israel and sought him, he was found by them. And in those times there was no peace to the one who went out, nor to the one who came in. But great turmoil was on all the inhabitants of the lands. So nation was destroyed by nation, and city by city. For God troubled them with every adversity. But you, be strong, and do not let your hands be weak, for your work shall be rewarded. And when Asa heard these words, and the prophecy of Oded the prophet, he took courage, and removed the abominable idols from all the land of Judah and Benjamin and from the cities which he had taken in the mountains of Ephraim. And he restored the altar of the Lord that was before the vestibule of the Lord. Then he gathered all Judah and Benjamin, and those who dwelt with them from Ephraim, Manasseh, and Simeon. For they came over to him in great numbers from Israel, when they saw that the Lord his God was with him. So they gathered together at Jerusalem in the third month, in the fifteenth year of the reign of Asa. And they offered to the Lord at that time seven hundred bulls and seven thousand sheep from the spoil they had brought. Then they entered into a covenant to seek the Lord God of their fathers with all their heart and with all their soul. And whoever would not seek the Lord God of Israel was to be put to death whether small or great, whether man or woman. Then they took an oath before the Lord with a loud voice, with shouting and trumpets and ram's horns. And all Judah rejoiced at the oath, for they had sworn with all their heart and sought him with all their soul. And he was found by them, and the Lord gave them rest all around. Also, he removed Maacah, the mother of Asa the king, from being queen mother, because she had made an obscene image of Asherah. And Asa cut down her obscene image, then crushed and burned it by the brook Kidron. But the high places were not removed from Israel. Nevertheless, the heart of Asa was loyal all his days. He also brought into the house of God the things that his father had dedicated, and that he himself had dedicated, silver and gold and utensils. And there was no war until the thirty-fifth year of the reign of Asa. Second Chronicles, Chapter 16 In the thirty-sixth year of the reign of Asa, Baasha, king of Israel, came up against Judah, and built Ramah, that he might let none go out or come in to Asa, king of Judah. Then Asa brought silver and gold from the treasuries of the house of the Lord, and of the king's house, and sent to Ben-Hadad, king of Syria, who dwelt in Damascus. 
Let there be a treaty between you and me, as there was between my father and your father. See, I have sent you silver and gold. Come, break your treaty with Baasha, king of Israel, so that he will withdraw from me. So Ben-Hadad heeded King Asa, and sent the captains of his armies against the cities of Israel. They attacked Ijon, Dan, abel Mayim, and all the storage cities of Naphtali. Now it happened, when Baasha heard it, that he stopped building Ramah and ceased his work. Then King Asa took all Judah, and they carried away the stones and timber of Ramah, which Baasha had used for building, and with them he built Geba and Mizpah. And at that time, Hanani the seer came to Asa, king of Judah, and said to him, Because you have relied on the king of Syria and have not relied on the Lord your God, therefore the army of the king of Syria has escaped from your hand. Were the Ethiopians and the Lubim not a huge army with very many chariots and horsemen? Yet because you relied on the Lord, he delivered them into your hand. For the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong on behalf of those whose heart is loyal to him. In this you have done foolishly. Therefore, from now on, you shall have wars. Then Asa was angry with the seer and put him in prison, for he was enraged at him because of this. And Asa oppressed some of the people at that time. Note that the acts of Asa, first and last, are indeed written in the book of the kings of Judah and Israel. And in the thirty-ninth year of his reign, Asa became diseased in his feet and his malady was severe, yet in his disease he did not seek the Lord, but the physicians. So Asa rested with his fathers. He died in the forty-first year of his reign. They buried him in his own tomb, which he had made for himself in the city of David, and they laid him in the bed, which was filled with spices and various ingredients prepared in a mixture of ointments. They made a very great burning for him.